I am Muhammad Fayal Hashmi and this is story of my life for colorful heritage. My birthday 7 March 1927. A place of birth is uh, village Chakowal in Husharpur district, East Punjab, India. Some neighbor villages, Muslim villages, they were put on fire. Then the elder realized that we need safety and we, there was a, a Kamalpur camp where, where I used to go to school. So we were a few days there and then we were told that we should go to Pakistan. Uh, uh, it, it was an unfor unfortunate thing. Looting, little violence, I saw, you know, it's a, a uh, I saw that, but uh, many other people that died uh, uh, with disease, not by anybody killing them, but some people, they, there were village to village fights. I would say we had to pay the price for Pakistan. We had to leave everything what we have, land, house, haveli, uh, all other uh, facilities, our animal, uh, uh, all uh, uh, had to left. That was the price we paid for uh, 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 Pakistan. This is why perhaps after that long, uh, uh, living in this country in Scotland, which I love Scotland, but at the same time, I still great feeling for Pakistan after even I've been living here uh, 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 over 60 years uh, because when cross the border, uh, Waka border, we all felt safe. It was a strange chance, opportunity, knocks. Uh, some people, they had a wholesale warehouse. Their company uh, name was Kaka and Son, Dunlop Street. They paid my passage. Later on, I paid them back. I think it was about 80 pound. It, 28 days, and uh, it, to begin with, the, I became sick, seasick. Seasick uh, it seemed to be, uh, I, I don't like this uh, way. So, uh, Adan, uh, from Karachi to Adan, I was sick. And from Adan to Gibraltar, it was all right. Red Sea or what, you know, and uh, uh, Suez Canal. And uh, through, uh, I was all right and enjoy uh, going to Port Said or this and that, you know. And uh, <clears throat> after uh, uh, Gibraltar, Bay of Biscay, I was sick again. That's a, a, a rough area. Uh, but uh, on uh, last day of 1950, arrived in Liverpool, and from there, I uh, uh, we took, uh, there were other uh, three, four with us, uh, and uh, we took a train uh, <clears throat> uh, to Glasgow. And on the way, uh, uh, saw first time there snow, and I was surprised that she, they can take food out of snow. I watched that, and we had a neighbor lady. We were, uh, uh, mostly we were young looking, and uh, that lady offered us uh, a, a bit of a chocolate bar, uh, and uh, that was first time I tasted chocolate in my life. In those days, Glasgow was dark buildings. We all seen, you know, that white people, they uh, sort of what we see them in India, that this all live in palaces or something. That sort of idea in mind. But it was surprised when white women scrubbing the floor. <laughs> it was surprised, you know, they, that they do everything here. They were very friendly people very friendly people, mostly. But everyone 
uh, you know, uh, you go to door and he says, come on and buy something, you know, uh, we would have been a millionaire, but no, oh my goodness, sometimes whole street, you know, try every door and nobody says, and some people, they, uh, I, I did even bungalows, they would talk with uh, their own way. You, I will repeat it just now. Oh, you are there again. I am not interested at the door. <laughs> we, uh, we have to hear that sort of thing, but you have to ignore, you know, when there's no other way. They were tolerant. I would say they were mostly tolerant and, uh, but everybody, uh, you can't expect everybody welcome, you know, stranger coming from and going to this room. They might be taking their dinner and a uh, uh, tofal gone and knocked at their door, you know, would you like to buy something? <laughs> and uh, stubbornly, uh, not at that time thinking, you know, that what they are doing or very busy it is and you are more at, you know, look at my wares, look at my case and, you know, look my wares, lovely stuff and bargain. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, wife uh, came from in in Varnes, more or less born and brought up her mother was a teacher unfortunately her father gone uh, uh, to india and on to burma front in 1942 or uh, somewhere he never returned a uh, poor man and wife never seen her uh, father and uh, so it was together hard going and uh, but we uh, uh, came on and uh, things changed and uh, so uh, we are uh, over 50 years married. My wife uh, is Christian. I didn't try hard to uh, uh, convert her or uh, uh, so she's just uh, her own way, you know, very independent person, you know, and so that's it. It's in the Quran that you can marry among Ahle Kitab, uh, provided you pay their Hakmar. And that, and then another thing is you, you don't do Jabber, uh, you don't. Uh, a, a, uh, 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 convert anybody by force. It have to be per, per, uh, a persuasion, which I haven't come very good. <laughs> Some people, they just don't bother. Some people, they don't uh, like. And uh, I think many things you don't consider than in young age. But uh, it's better to marry of... Uh, same culture. People used to think, you know, that uh, it's a white and brown or white and black. That make a difference. No. It's a culture. It's a culture uh, is the problem. Uh, easily happen, you know, that uh, 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 children, uh, you are going to send uh, uh, to uh, church, uh, 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 Sunday school or to mosque. So these things comes up. Best time, 47 to 57, roughly 10 years, lot of ups and downs in it. But in within that years too, you know, that uh, uh, we were single and all uh, uh, living a uh, single same age group, you know, in Gar Garnet Hill Street area, laughing, giggling, teasing one another, all. that was, I think, happiest life, you know, though I had a good marriage and this and that, but roti, kapda, makan, you know, uh, it, it, <laughs> it started right away. But thank God, you know, that we, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, anything like that, you know. It's great, you know, that uh, when you feel oh, uh, our grandson is coming, our uh, grandchildren coming, this and that, you know. it's all right now, you know. Thank you.